Hello all the foodies, I am Kanak and you are watching Ready Steady Eat Again. Today I am going to show you how to make Kashmiri Dham Aloos. This can be served as a main course and even as a side dish with the main meal. So without any delay, let me show you what you need for this. 250 grams of small potatoes peeled. Here I have soaked my potatoes in 2 cups of water for at least 2 hours with salt. Oil for frying and cooking. 1 large onion chopped. 6 to 8 garlic cloves. 2 tablespoons of ginger, 6 black pepper corns, 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 2 to 3 dry red chilies, 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder, water as desired, half a cup of tomato puree, 4 tablespoons of yogurt, 2 to 3 tablespoons of fresh cream, salt to taste. Fresh coriander to garnish. Here I've got the peeled potatoes soaked in water with salt. I'm going to prick them all over so that it's nicely cooked through. Now dry the potatoes on a kitchen towel and meanwhile heat oil for frying. Now shallow fry the potatoes until they are cooked through and become golden brown in color. I'm going to keep it on another flame and meanwhile I'm going to prepare the sauce for the damalus. Heat some oil in a wok and fry the onions with all the spices like garlic cloves, ginger, peppercorns, coriander seeds, cumin seeds, dry red chilies, turmeric powder, red chilli powder, garam masala powder and mix well nicely with the help of a wooden spatula so that all the herbs and spices are combined together with each other. Now so that it doesn't get burnt, I am going to add water to it. Once you add water, stir it for another 1 to 2 minutes and set aside and let it cool down and then we are going to mix it in a blender. Now grind the paste nicely in a blender to make a fairly smooth paste nicely. Now once it is done, now in the same used pan, cook the onion paste for around 10 minutes again and now stir in the tomato puree to it. Now is the time to close with the lid for around 5 to 10 minutes on low flame or until oil starts coming out. Now it's been 10 minutes, I'm going to remove the lid. Now it has become perfectly cooked. The tomatoes are no more raw and it has started giving out the oil. Now I'm going to add curd to it and again mix it nicely with the help of the spatula. And now it's the time to toss in the cream to it. Once you add the cream, fold in nicely so that all the cream is properly mixed with the gravy. And now stir it again and finally add salt to it. Now my gravy is ready. Now I'm finally going to add the fried potatoes into the gravy so, so that all the potatoes are nicely coated with the gravy. Now add some more water if you desire and cook it on low flame for around 5 to 7 minutes. All the potatoes are nicely coated with the gravy. Now I'm going to garnish it with some fresh coriander. Now my Kashmiri Dham Alu are ready and they go perfectly with rice or naan for lunch or even for dinner. Now my Kashmiri Dham Alu dish is ready to eat. Now as you can see, the potatoes are nicely coated with the onion and tomato based sauce and it's not very thick also and it's not very runny also. This is the perfect consistency we are looking for. Do try it and let me know how it turned out in the comment section below. And also hit the like button and do subscribe to Ready Steady Eat for more such lovely recipes. Till then, take good care of yourself and happy cooking!